<laughs> hello hello everyone <laughs> i don't know what to say welcome everyone today's video is going to be an artistic one really this is just an excuse for me not to have my face in the camera because my skin is breaking out very badly um can you even see here and that one coming in here and it, it's not doing great so we're gonna be doing something where I don't have to be seen um we're gonna be painting today I haven't painted it in like months literally months I started to film a painting video months ago and that one flopped horrendously um and then I deleted it and never tried again so this is another try. This is a redemption. I'm also picking something that is a little bit out of my um, skill level. I'm a little bit out of my skill set, not gonna lie. I don't know who I thought I was. It's this video. It looked really cute and it honestly does not seem that hard, truthfully speaking, so I feel like I might be able to do it. Um, I have all the stuff on my desk right now that I think I'm gonna need, the colors that I think I'm gonna need, my brushes, water, and this little mini canvas. But first and foremost, I need to change out of my cute pajamas. Let me show you them because I cannot get paint on these, so. Okay, you guys, I just changed into a t-shirt and some shorts. They're down there, you just can't see them. But yeah, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera down so you can see exactly what my setup is. And then we're gonna go ahead and start. Okay, so the video starts off with them taking a really like light, like yellow, they call it lemon yellow white is the name of the color. I don't have that color. Theirs is more of like a, a neon color, but I, again, I don't have that. So I think I'm gonna have to mix like yellow and white together to try and get something similar. Um, this is the base, you guys. <laughs> not gonna lie, the base is not quite basing. Um, I don't know why, it just looks so unbelievably, unbelievably patchy to me. But we're gonna roll with it because there's gonna be flowers and all this stuff on here, so I feel like it might not really be that important quite yet, so. Okay, so the next step is we have to take that medium, it's called medium yellow, but like the more mustardy yellow, and draw some lines to make like a brick wall kind of vibe. Um, I don't know if that yellow is gonna be deep enough. My yellow is gonna be deep enough to like re really stand out, but we're gonna try and see. Um, so these are my lines. <laughs> I probably should have used a ruler or something, you guys, because they are crooked as hell. They are very much crooked. I don't know what happened. I also should have made them skinnier. In the in the video, they're a lot skinnier, and I don't know how they got so thick, you guys. Oh, I'm sad. In person, it doesn't look that bad, but when I look at the viewfinder, it's so crooked, you guys. Oh, whatever. Let's just keep going and see what happens. Okay, so next in the video, they, she takes the really light yellow that we did in the beginning and she puts it like in the corners here to, I guess, add some, you know, definition or whatever. All right, you guys, it's honestly giving McDonald's. It's honestly giving, um, I hate it. 
I might end up quitting. So next they take like the 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 yellow color, like the mustardy color, and they do like a, almost like a silhouette of all of the branches and trees and stuff that are gonna be like in this area over here that we kind of left blank. Let's just do it. All right, this is where we're at. <laughs> you guys, I seriously wanna give up. I'm trying so hard to see it through because I feel like it could come together, but I honestly hate it. So the next thing that they do is she takes like a couple of different greens and she kind of just goes on top of the yellow part that we just did with some green colors, add some dimension, add some, you know, I, I guess this is part that's supposed to be like a shadow and then the green on top is gonna be like the actual like bush or whatever, so. I don't even know which greens I'm gonna use. I have like a bunch of different ones. I have this one which kind of seems too deep, but maybe not. And then I have this one which is really light. I don't know about that one. And then I have this one which I think these two might be the main ones that I use. boys this is where this is where we're at um i keep wanting to quit but it, honestly i'm starting to see a little bit of potential so we're gonna keep going theirs looks a hell of a lot better than mine i'll tell you that right now but it's not terrible so i mean i will take it um i think the next step all they do is add like an even lighter green on top of everything else i think i'm gonna mix a green and a white together and try and get that little concoction Alrighty guys, I'm liking it a lot more now. Okay, so next they take a, a little tiny brush and some white paint and they start making these like rose shape looking things. <laughs> I am not good with detail painting. I definitely am not a painter at all. I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to detail painting. So the brush that they use is like really tiny. So I think I might try and go in with this one. Hold on. I think this one might do. This should be interesting, um, but we're just gonna give it a go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you guys, this is where we're at. This took longer than anything else. I didn't even expect this to take that long, you guys, but it came out better than I thought. Um, the next thing that they do is they take a pink color and they kind of go over the white, in between the white, 
around that way to kind of give it some color obviously and some depth. So that's what we're gonna do next. Okay, okay, it's not bad. I just looked at the video and sh they definitely have more flowers than I do, but honestly, I'm over it and I'm not adding any more. I'm, I've had it, no. The next thing that they do is they make this really bright neon-y, not neon-y green, but it's like a very bright light colored green and they add some like petals. Let's wrap it up, because I'm over it. You guys, I've officially quit. I've officially given up. Um, I was trying to do literally the last step, which is just to add the little petal pizzy thingies on there. And it looks, I messed it up. I messed it up, so I stopped because I knew that I was doing something bad. What is that? What is that? You guys, if we just ignore that, this is kind of fire. But what is that? Oh my God, I'm so mad. I literally was doing so good. What is that? Somebody please tell me. So this is my painting. This is her. Um, it's not horrible. It's not the best thing I've ever done in the world. But honestly, I'm proud of myself because I pretty much stuck with it until the end. Until the very end. And then I stopped for the greater good. Because if I would have continued doing those little thingies, it would have completely been absolutely horrid. <laughs> I'm actually a little bit embarrassed. I've got like paint all over my hands too. Like your girl was actually working. I look like I was actually doing something. Okay. But yeah, you guys, I think that's gonna be it for this video. I'm going to go wash my hands, clean up my desk, cause there's paint everywhere. Not on the desk, but like, there's just a bunch of stuff going on. So I'm gonna clean up. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed watching me stress over this painting. If you wanna see me attempt another painting, if you thought this was interesting or fun, let me know. Maybe I'll do another one. Maybe not. I don't know. Let's see. But yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day or night or whatever your situation is. And I will see all of you in my next one. I love you. Bye.